over the last few weeks, I have received more requests to review the radio that is inside this box than any other radio ever in the last few weeks. So here we are. In this box is the new Boofwang BF-F8HP Pro. Pro, the seventh generation upgrade to the best radio ever invented, the Boofwang UV5R. That means that this radio is better than the sixth generation and over twice as better than the third generation version of the old Boofwang UV5R radio. And this new radio has a couple of features that very few, if any, other radios in this price range have, and that most radios costing hundreds of dollars of monies more do not even have. I will discuss those features more momentarily. However, before I continue, allow me to give you this very important warning. A lot of people like this radio, and I will tell you right up front, that I, too, like this radio, and it is a well-known fact in the radio dork world that when I make a video about a radio and when I like said radio, said radio tends to sell out or go on back order very quickly. So if you think that you might ever actually want to touch a new Boofwang BF-F8HP Pro radio, then pause the video right now and click the affiliate link below and go order one for yourself before it sells out. You have been warned, so please do not leave a stupid comment complaining that the radio is sold out or on back order, because I just told you that that is what's going to happen. Affiliate link below. The cost for the new Boofwang BF-F8HP Pro Pro is about $70 of monies, depending on if you purchase it direct from BTEC or through the Amazon. Affiliate link below. And Boofwang or BTEC or Boofwang Tech or whoever is peddling these did not send me this radio for free. Nay, I paid full price for this radio using the monies that I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the brave men and women but mostly men that clicked on the thanks or subscribe buttons below. The Boofwang BF-F8HP Pro Pro is a hams radio, and this means that our overlords at the FCC's says that thou must first pay for a permission slip before you may transmit on this radio. This permission slip is also sometimes referred to as an amateur radio or hams radio license. No permission slip is required from the government to purchase, own, or possess this radio. The government says that you only need to pay them if you plan to transmit over our free radio waves using this radio. So when you purchase the new Boofwang BF-F8HP Pro, in the box you will receive a user manual. As you can see, it is 6.9 pages long. Now you may be asking yourself, what do you mean 6.9? What is 6.9? My friend, listen very closely, because verily I say unto you, that 6.9 is something very good that is ruined by a period. The user manual goes over all of the functions of the radio and is written in perfect, perfect English as one might expect as BTEC or Boofwang Tech or whatever it's called is an American company based right here in these United States of America in the city of South Dakota. Yes, it is true that the radio is manufactured in the child slave labor camps of China, but it is distributed by Boofwang Tech of South Dakota, which is also a very proud Christian company that is not afraid to stand up for their beliefs. You will receive the obligatory earpiece that will no doubt fall apart the very first time that you use it. You will receive a belt clip and very handsome 
wrist strap, either of which can be used to affix the radio to your body and, most important, impress the chicks whilst you walk around the mall. You will receive not one, but two antennas. One is best for use with either the 144 My Gigglehertz band or the 440 My Gigglehertz band. And the manual says that the other is for wide band use. I do not know what that means. You will receive a charging cradle. And this cradle is different from pretty much all other charging cradles that comes with these lower cost type radios. Because as you can see with your very own Vision Sauce packs, this cradle plugs directly into the holes in your walls without any kind of power brick or power converter. I am not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing, so I will leave it up to the experts watching to leave comments and let us all know if this is a good or a bad thing, but I think I like it. You will receive this USB A's to USB C's cable, which can be used to charge the 2500 milliamp hour battery that you will also receive thusly. Instead of using that fancy charging cradle that I just told you about. And you will receive the new Bufwang BF F8 HP Pro Pro Hams Radio Walkie Talkie HT Handheld HT Radio. The radio has a very good solid feel and it appears to be well constructed and it does not feel cheap nor plasticky. On the top of the radio you will find a on off and volume control knob. Where the flashlight should be, you will find a GPS receiver. I will discuss that more momentarily. And you will find a standard SMA male hole for inserting any standard SMA female antenna. On the side, you will find a stupid and mostly useless alarm button, a push to talk trigger, and a programmable button. On the front, you will find a spacious full color screen as well as all of the buttons one would expect to find on a handheld HT walkie talkie hams radio. And behind this magic door, you will find holes for connecting the earpiece that I mentioned only moments ago, an external microphone, or a computer programming cable. As I mentioned only moments ago, this radio is an upgrade to the older Bufwang BF F8HP, which is basically an 8-watt version of the old Bufwang UV5R. So as you probably already inferred, by the transitive property, this radio is basically just an upgraded Bufwang UV5R. As you can see, it is much larger than the older BF F8HP, and the batteries are not compatible. However, the radio is pretty much the exact same size and form factor as the Bufwang UV5G Plus and the Bufwang AR5RM radios. And yes, the batteries are the same and are inter-incestual with each other. The new Bufwang BF F8HP Pro has an IP54 rating, and this means that you should not play with it in the bathtub. And just like the Bufwang UV5R and many other inexpensive Asian type radios, this radio is not a super heterodyne type radio. This radio is an SOC type radio, also known as a homodyne, homodyne type radio. This radio is able to receive and listen to commercial FM radio, AM, airband, VHF, hams, 1.25 meters, UHF, 70 semen eaters, and GMRS. It also has the NOAA weather channels built in. And most important of all, this radio does not appear to be locked. My friend, you heard that right. This is an unlocked radio. In other words, this radio is able to transmit on nearly all frequencies, which makes this radio very desirable to many people. And even though I would never do such a thing, it has been confirmed that this radio can transmit on all frequencies from 136 my gigahertz 
up to 259 my gigahertz and from 400 my gigahertz up to 519 my gigahertz. So yes, this radio can transmit on the GMRS frequencies, but I should clarify that this is a hams radio. It is not a GMRS radio. This means that even though this radio can transmit RF electricities in the GMRS frequencies range, the radio does not automatically set the legal power limits on the GMRS channels. It does not automatically set the correct bandwidths for the GMRS channels, nor does it have any of the pre-programmed GMRS standard or repeater channels. You must do all of that yourself. And if you do not understand what all of that means, or if what I just said resulted in confoculation on your part, then do not buy this radio. Please do yourself a favor and go buy a GMRS radio like the UV5G Plus instead, which, as I already mentioned, looks just like this one. And I would be remiss if I did not mention that even if you have a GMRS license and even if you have a HAMS radio license, this radio is not approved or type accepted by our overlords at the FCCs to transmit on the GMRS frequencies. And according to some people online, if you transmit on a radio such as this on the GMRS frequencies, you will go to jail or face a fine of $25,000 of monies. This radio has a new menu system that is different from the old Bufwang type menus, but I truly believe that these new menus are easier and more intuitive to use than the old Bufwang type menus. And as you already saw with your very own ocular sauce balls, this radio has a color screen and it does do fairly well in bright direct sunlight. As you may have noticed already, oh, like most radios of this ilk, the radio is able to receive and listen to two frequencies at the same time. However, if you are easily confoculated, like I am, you can disable that annoying feature thusly. As mentioned only moments ago, this radio has a built-in GPS receiver in lieu of a flashlight, and unlike all of the other GPS-enabled radios that I have tested, this one is very fast at acquiring and displaying your location. It is, in fact, much faster than any of the other new GPS radios that I have tested. So in the GPS positioning acquisition race, this radio wins hands down. I will not show you the GPS screen because I don't want to give away my home address. Maybe I'll put up a picture for you to enjoy. But the GPS will display your coordinates and it can optionally send those coordinates to other BFF8HP Pro radios. However, I do not know if this feature is compatible with any other radios and it is not APRS compatible. The radio has a frequency scan feature which will display the frequency and any tones being used by any radios nearby. And by nearby, I mean within around 75 feet or so for another HT handheld radio and a few hundred feet or so for more high-powered mobile or base station radios. And yes, this radio is CHIRP compatible. However, you will need a PC03 programming cable, which is not included, and that cable costs about $22 of monies, affiliate link below. And the radio is firmware updatable, although there have been no updates for it yet. And of course, this radio does have a Roger beep. However, even more exciting than the Roger beep are two new features that pretty much no other radios of this type have. If instead of using the Chirp software, you use the free BTEC programming software for this radio, which by the way, runs only in Windows, you will find an option for a custom startup image, which will allow you to upload your own customized image that will display when you turn the radio on. And you will also find an option to install voice packs, which allows you to upload your own voice or sounds to replace the standard voice and sounds that come with the radio. Allow me to demonstrate both of these amazing features. This is an example of a custom start image on the start screen. And this is an example of some custom words. 
four, six, two, fiver, seven, fiver, boop wang. But of course, what everyone wants to know is how many fars does it talks? Sadly, I cannot test this radio with my friend Conrad the Chef like I do with all other radios on camera because I do not have a hams radio operator license. And as mentioned only moments ago, this is a hams radio. Can you imagine the wailing and gnashing of teeth by some people if I were to record myself on camera on the YouTubes broadcasting on a hams radio without a hams radio license? However, I can confirm through anonymous sources that this radio can indeed reach my friend Conrad, the chef, at his house 13 miles away, loud and clear and better and more loud and more clear than most of the other handheld HT radios that I have ever tested. I can also confirm, of course through anonymous sources that will remain unnamed, that this radio is able to connect to and kerchunk all of the local hams repeaters, and I have confirmed that kerchunking those hams repeaters repeatedly with the Roger Beep enabled has hilarious results. What I am saying to you right now is that FARS is not an issue with this radio. The box says that this hams radio can output up to 8 watts of RF electricities, so let's test that. At 136 my gigahertz, the radio is putting out just over 7 watts. At 445 my gigahertz, the radio is outputting just under 8 watts. And at GMRS channel 16, otherwise known as 462575 my gigahertz, the radio is outputting just over 8 watts. So what does all of this mean, my friend? What I am saying to you right now is that this is a very nice, fairly easy to use, unlocked hams radio. And if you have not already ordered one for yourself, it is probably too late. <laughs>